Mixed media isn't just for canvases, you can use it on cards too. So I'm gonna show you how to do some mixed media techniques on this oversized pop-up style card using Colorbox spray inks. Now you can see all the supplies here, but you can get the full supply list over on the blog. I've done this post for Clear Snap, so you wanna click over to their blog to see the whole supply list if you're looking at this on YouTube. So I cut down some uh, watercolor paper to eight and a half by 11, I cut that in half to five and a half by eight and a half to make some card fronts. Just sprayed some spray ink on there and hit that with the heat gun to dry it up. And I made a couple different options. So you can do that, make a couple different ones so you find the one that you like. Next, I use a sheet of nine by 12 watercolor paper, sprayed some spray ink on it, and then sprayed some water to help it run and make drips. I also added some iZinc acrylic pigment ink here. Again, hitting that with the water to give it that drippy look. And between layers, I'm using the heat gun to dry everything so that it doesn't keep running all together and get muddy. Next, you wanna put some uh, chipboard pieces inside of the Colorbox Color Catcher. That's the spray booth that I'm using here. It's gonna help protect my table. So I sprayed these chipboard pieces with spray ink and then I also hit them with some iZinc acrylic pigment ink. Once that dried on the chipboard pieces, I used a Colorbox art screen, which is basically a stencil, and a stylus and tip to apply a frost white Colorbox pigment ink through the stencil. Then I dried that with a heat gun. Pigment ink doesn't dry very quickly, so you wanna use a heat gun to speed that process up. Next, I tied some of the little chipboard raindrops and some little acrylic uh, chandelier crystals to some silver thread and then threaded those through that the little holes that are on the bottom of that cloud and just tape the strings to the back. Then I made like a mess of string and stuck that to the back too so it would kind of look like the cloud had a little like lightning or some rain things going on. And I added some crafty power tape from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L to hold all of that together. Now these chipboard pieces are from iConnect Crafts and ClearStep is doing a blog hop with them this week so make sure that you check that out if you are watching this on YouTube. Make sure you go click on the link to go enter the giveaway, etc. This is just a really fun way to use these chipboard items and when you open the card it kind of like pops up and it's kind of fun and interactive a different way to do a card so here I'm using some pearl rain spray I just took the straw end out and kind of flicked it around to make it give this little specks of shimmer and then I use this Teresa Collins be fearless stamp with some more pigment ink to stamp a sentiment and then I added some bling these are just some flat back um, faceted crystals um, added some of those with some glue dots and then I went ahead and started making my card front. So I used one of those eight and a half by five and a half watercolor paper pieces and just stamped a sentiment on there that says when the storm blows in and then on the inside of the card it has that Be Fearless stamp from Teresa Collins. So I added that to my card on the front. Um, I did use some purple ink here on the front of the card to kind of give it like a little bit of a background. Um, so once that sentiment was on, I opened up the card again and decided to add some more sparkle and shimmer with the Smooch Accent Ink. So Smooch Glitz, which I'm using here as glitter, but the colored ones, the Smooch Accent Ink, has just a very faint iridescent shimmer with a little bit of color. So it's kind of a fun way to give some accents to your cards and your mixed media projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card. It's kind of a little bit different, um, but lots of fun mixed media techniques, you know, sprays, drips, all that kinds of fun stuff that we love for mixed media all inside of a card. Click the video here that's playing to see another mixed media project. And I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button to see more DIY videos from me. And you can also visit me over on Instagram by clicking the Instagram button there on the right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you guys back here again soon. Bye.